going on everyone? Welcome to episode, I think I'm on 296. So what, four episodes away from the big 300. So just to give you a preview of what's coming up, next video is gonna be the four NECA Ninja Turtles that were GameStop exclusives. After that is gonna be a big Mezco episode. So I currently have four Mezcos which I'm gonna share with you. And I have potentially two or three more on top of that. So maybe five, maybe six Mezcos, I'm not sure. But I already have four, which I can't wait to show you. After that, I currently have four one-sixth scale figures. A Mondo, a Sideshow, and two third-party figures. So I'm gonna show you all four of those in a video. But what we have here are more bots. I got a couple third-party masterpiece scale bots. I do have another Siege figure right there, Mr. Optimus Prime. I do have two new SH Figure Arts Dragon Ball Z figures and I've got 25, 25th G.I. Joe figures. All loose. I'm going to show you all those bad boys up close right now. Okay, so first things first, if you did not watch my last video, I did find the Black Panther M'Baku wave for five bucks each. So a little shameless plug for that video. Go back and watch that video. Uh, not only did I find the M'Baku wave, there's M'Baku, looking freaking awesome, by the way, and Claw and Killmonger also looking awesome, but I found this guy, which was on the pegs very, very early, he has not been released yet, but he is Shazam. It's a DC Multiverse Shazam figure. Super duper articulated. Check out the review I did. I actually did a review. How about that? Since he nerd the reviewer, I'm pretty sure I did a terrible job on it <laughs> because I'm not a reviewer. Uh, I'm a collector. More of a collector, more of a, I guess, a showcaser, which I'm going to do right now. Let's showcase. Holy freaking moly. That's an army right there. So I got to thank my buddy Sean. My buddy Sean reached out to me and said that uh, he had some G.I. Joe 25th for sale. So he gave me a list and I cherry picked that list. And I am so absolutely over the moon happy with this gigantic haul of Joes. Let me go through it. These are all 25th Joes. I'm going to start at the back. We got Snow Serpent. We got a Range Viper. Pretty awesome there. We got some pilots for G.I. Joe. We have Lift Ticket, Pilot of the Tomahawk. We have Wild Bill, Pilot of the Dragonfly. We have Ace, Pilot of the Sky Striker. We've got Hit and Run. We got Tripwire. Wetsuit. Televiper. We have a Crimson Guard, uh, but that is Fred, by the way. If you read the G.I. Joe comic, you know who Fred is. That is Mr. Fred himself. We got a Cobra Eel. We have Copperhead, pilot of the Water Moccasin. We have Dr. Mindbender. We have uh, a guy that lost his uh, name rights. So he was known as Shockwave. Uh, obviously the whole Transformers deal with that. So he's now called Shock Blast. We have uh, Craig Case, pilot of the Awe Striker. We have Rip Cord, who also lost his namesake rights. He's now known as Specialist Altitude. <laughs> but uh, he's Rip Cord in my book. We have Grand Slam! So I finally finished my 13 original Joes. Thank you, Sean, for enabling that. So I am very, very, absolutely super happy about that. Grand Slam in the house. 13 Joes completed. What the heck? We've got Matt Tracker. We've got a mask figure. Yes, G.I. Joe actually did one mask figure. I wish they had done a lot more. But we got one. I'm happy with it. It's Matt Tracker. Specialist Tracker. I love this figure. He's going to go right next to my Leoric, which was also in the G.I. Joe scale from Visionaries. We got Doc. Old school Doc. Had some really, really awesome G.I. Joe comic book issues. Mr. Doc there. We have Dusty. We have Beachhead. This is my second version of Beachhead. And this is the more uh, classic toy version. 
If you saw my, I think it was the episode before last, I got a beachhead with the tactical jacket kind of open. This is uh, the one with the closed um, vest with the magazines there. Different colors, different shade of green. We have the armored Cobra Commander. We have this amazing Major Blood with the silver armor. I love the look of this Major Blood. Always loved the look of the silver armor and the silver shoes and the brown outfit. Awesome. I love this Major Blood. And then we got yet another Joe who lost his namesake rights. Main frame, now known as Data Frame. He's still cool, though. And then last but not least, we have Tunnel Rat. Featured in the G.I. Joe, I think it was 86 movie, Tunnel Rat. So there you go. Look at that. This makes me so happy. Honestly, I love 25th Joes. They look so gorgeous. The colors, just, I mean, just look at that. The colors all together, so colorful and beautiful, and they look so different. So many different characters. I just love it. It's beautiful. Thank you, Sean, once again, for selling me these. I'm so very happy. All right, let me move on, or I'm going to talk all day about Joes. So I did get some SH Figure Arts figures uh, to add to my collection. I got the new Goku, uh, very, very economically priced Goku, 35 bucks. I think I got them for like 25 or 30 with a coupon. And then I got Trunks. So a little backstory on this one. I am still not caught up on Dragon Ball Z. There's so many episodes that I need to catch up on. Uh, so I know a little bit about Trunks because I um, basically jump forward and watch episodes uh, for characters that I'm just really intrigued about. And I saw him fight Goku Black. And I thought that was so freaking awesome. So I really wanted this figure because I just thought that was a really, really cool fight. So my question to you guys out there that are Dragon Ball Z fans, I want you to tell me maybe your top three favorite single fights in Dragon Ball Z. Because I want to see more of those freaking knockdown, drag out fights. I thought that the uh, fight between Trunks and Goku Black was so cool. I bought this figure. I really want a Goku Black now. Uh, I know it's pricey, but I think that's kind of high towards the top of my hunt list. But this is really, really cool. So there's Trunks. Very awesome. I got a new Siege figure because these are fantastic. These are amazing. I love the Siege line. I'm really looking forward to the new ones that are coming out. But I got Optimus Prime. Needed an Optimus. He'll go well with my Ultra Magnus, my Hound, and my Sideswipe. And next segment, I'm going to unbox Optimus, and you're going to see him with my other Siege bots. And then last two here in box, this is Coot, <laughs> otherwise known as Cup. This is a Fans Toys third-party masterpiece scale Cup from the Transformers movie, if you might recognize him from that. He's uh, awesome. I loved him in the Transformers movie. But I'm going to unbox him. And I'm going to show you how he looks next to my third-party Springer, next to uh, my Masterpiece Hot Rod. And then I got Grump, also known as, this is Bad Cube Grump, also known as Gears. So this is a Minibot, Masterpiece Scale Minibot Gears. So I'm going to unbox him. You're going to see him next to a couple other Minibots that I have. Maybe a couple other Bad Cube Minibots. Maybe a couple other... Uh, masterpiece official mini bots but there's the haul for this video so some transformers official one official two third party some sh figure arts dragon ball z and a freaking butt ton of gi joe's so let me go ahead and unbox these guys we're going to do some showcasing let's do it all right i went ahead and unboxed these three so here is the bad cube grump aka gears he looks amazing. He looks like he was plucked right out of the cartoon. Very, very awesome. And I'm going to show you him next to some of his Minibot buddies in just a second. But let me show you these other guys here first. So here is Cup. And he looks amazing. I changed his chest piece out because the original chest piece was just kind of painted. This one looked more translucent 
and I'm a sucker for translucent plastic. So I switched this out. I think it looks cool. Plus, I looked at this um, picture on the box here, kind of a like a clear chest. So I kind of wanted to replicate that. I like this more. It looks cool. But this is a great bot. He's got some weight to him. He's got die cast. This just looks awesome. I love the 86 movie bots. Uh, I still need a few to finish that team. I need an Ultra Magnus Masterpiece. I need a Blur and I need a RC. So I think RC might be next on the list because there is a Fans Toys RC, which looks really good. And then he does come with a Target Master, which I have in the robot form right there. But there is the uh, size comparison between these guys, a mini bot gears and a uh, cup. But very, very cool there. And then you have Siege Optimus Prime. And what can I say about this Optimus Prime? It's probably one of the best Optimus Primes we've ever seen by Hasbro uh, that wasn't a masterpiece figure. This is freaking amazing. Uh, when you look back at other Optimus Primes that they've done for like generations and classics, um, and then you compare with what they're able to do now, I mean, this is just a gorgeous, gorgeous figure. Um, a little bit too much on the weathering and the scuffs right there. I know you can remove that. I know people are removing it with like a nail polish remover or something. I don't mind it. It's just a little bit too much grime and gunk on him, but he still looks great. Don't get me wrong, he looks fantastic. Uh, comes with his big battle axe, as you see there. And then comes with his classic looking battle rifle there. He's just awesome. I wish his smokestacks were a little bit taller. That's really my only gripe. Is a little too much weathering and I would have loved a little bit taller smokestacks. But otherwise he's fantastic. So let's do the first comparison right now since I got these guys out already. Here is Optimus Prime and here is Ultra Magnus, Hound and Sideswipe. Let's get Sideswipe over here. Do a little group action right here. That is so awesome. I'm looking forward to seeing the Prowl, uh, the Ironhide, but I'm really, really happy with this. This is fantastic. But there you go. Let me pull out some of my other Masterpiece scale bots and show you how these guys match up with them. All right, I got some of my other Bad Cube bots out. I have Bad Cube Brawn, Bad Cube Swerve, and then Cubex Huffer right there. So. There is how Gears matches up size-wise with those guys. And then let's put this guy in here. There is Masterpiece Official Bumblebee with the Bad Cube Gears. I think that's a great size right there. And then just for the sake of it, there is the original Minibot Gears Transformers Official from the 80s next to Masterpiece scale gears by Bad Cube. That is awesome, right there. All right, and here's our other comparison. There is Fans Toys Cup with Masterpiece Official Hot Rod. There's Daniel in his uh, power suit, robot suit. And then there is Open and Play Springer. And <laughs> those look so cool. Those look amazing. Makes me want to go out and buy a uh, Fans Toys RC right now or a Ultra Magnus Masterpiece, but I just love these. But there you go. There's the comparison. There's the comparison. And there's a ton of Joes. Loving this. If you guys want to see me unbox uh, or do a showcase on these Dragon Ball Z figures, let me know. They've been out for a while, so I figure a lot of people have probably already seen them by now. Uh, which is why I didn't unbox them in this video, but if you want to see them just let me know let me know in the comments I'd be happy to unbox those and showcase those but right now. I actually have uh, two gifts that I got so I'm going to show you what I got read a couple letters and uh, I'll be right back All right, so I did receive a couple gifts in the mail and I want to share these because these are awesome uh, So first things first. I'm going to read the letter that I got here So it says dear Cincy myself and Josh Whitaker are big fans and watch your videos all the time. You have some of the best content going. Thank you very much, I appreciate that. Uh, keep up the good work. Josh is happy to help finding a figure that you need. We both hope you enjoy it. 
We also wish you well and good luck in Texas. P.S. Josh loves it when you do the Thor voice that you've done in the past videos. Well, thank you very much, Josh. I haven't done the Thor voice in a while. I need to be in a specific mood to do the Thor voice, so you might see that in a future video, but I appreciate it. Thank you very much, Matt. Thank you very much, Josh, for sending this. It is the Spider-Man Noir figure. I really wanted this after seeing uh, Spider-Man in the Spider-Verse. Uh, I thought it was awesome. He was a great character. He wasn't in it enough. So hopefully we'll see more in like a sequel. Thank you guys, I appreciate this. This is amazing. Uh, but there you go. And then the other thing that I got, I got another letter here. It says, hey Cincy, hope this finds you doing well. I became a fan last year when a video of you hunting in Big D came into my feed. I watched you toy hunting in my hometown of Allen, Texas. Go Eagles. So I used to live in Allen. I lived in Allen for seven years. Lived right off of uh, Exchange, Lost Creek Ranch if you're familiar with that area. So yeah, I used to be an Allenite. Uh, and it says that I was hunting at Order 66, which is a Star Wars store in Allen. It's an amazing store. My next visit home, I paid them a visit and was able to add to my Star Wars collection. I enjoy watching your hunts and have enjoyed the hunts of the other Syndicate Network members, Craig, AKA Narc. His discovery of the Louisville Antique Toy Mall was an awesome score and I was able to pay that place a visit on a work trip. So very, very cool there. I currently live in the Phoenix area, and if you're ever heading into the desert, let me know, and I'll show you some good hunting spots. Even go grab some Whataburger. I'm absolutely down for Whataburger anytime, all the time. I freaking love Whataburger. I picked this Dusty with the original helmet up on Hunt. So he sent me the Mask Dusty figure right there, and I do have a Dusty, but I was looking for another one because mine, due to the transformation of the Gator, has a lot of paint rub on the mask, as you can see there. It's uh, almost completely gone from the visor there. So I was looking for a new Dusty, but now I don't need to find one. So thank you very much, this is awesome, and he's gonna go in the Gator. This other one's going to go probably on Boulder Hill. And then it says that he found a huge stash of mini bots for 50 cents a piece. Holy crap, that's a great deal. So he sent me a Bumblebee. So that is freaking beautiful and amazing right there. And it says, take her easy, man. Keep the hunt going. Tyson, AKA Toy Guy Ty. So Tyson, thank you very, very much. I absolutely appreciate the Bumblebee and the Dusty. There you go. That's the end of this video. Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, subscribing, sharing, thumbs upping if you like the video. Again, next three videos, uh, NECA Turtles unboxing, just a stupid Mezco haul, and then uh, four one-sixth scale figures, which I am very, very happy about. But that's it for now. Thanks for watching. Adios, and I'll see you in the next one.